Well, after the president's Christmas trip to Iraq and Germany, many mainstream media networks have tried to find a way to criticize the effort, with CNN being the worst offender. One America's Luke Glaze has more on how the network went after U.S. troops and what the president had to say in response. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. The White House calls out CNN for targeting U.S. soldiers who supported President Trump during his trip to Iraq. The president, Donald Trump Jr., and Sarah Huckabee Sanders fired back at the network Thursday after Jim Acosta hosted a lengthy segment devoted to criticizing troops who asked the president to autograph their MAGA hats. We saw the president signing a campaign hat, uh, a red hat, uh, his Make America Great Again hat. Uh, is that unusual to see the president doing that on base? Because this is very much against military policy and regulation. Troops are not supposed to be involved in political activities. Trump 2020 and Make America Great Again, those are political slogans of a Trump campaign. They are not governmental uh, Saints. President Trump responded, saying the fake news network has gone wild. He added he would never turn down a request from one of the brave young people serving in the military. Trump Jr. said the hypocritical way in which CNN attacked the troops for supporting the president, while its own reporters and staff clearly favor Democrats and donate to their campaigns, shows why no one trusts the media. And Press Secretary Sanders added, CNN will attack anyone who supports President Trump, including the brave men and women of our military who fight to protect our freedom. Many also noted that CNN's overall coverage of the president's surprise Christmas visit with the troops was overwhelmingly negative. The liberal network has posted about a dozen stories and videos criticizing President Trump and the First Lady's effort to support the troops, but wrote very little, if anything, about the positivity they brought to the war region. You are the sentinels who watch over our nation. You are the warriors who defend our freedom. You are the patriots who ensure the flame of liberty burns forever bright. That's who you are. I just want to thank you. You're outstanding, outstanding people. And we will never let you down. Just remember that. God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Blaze, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.